you know, back in the day, many, many years ago, I, I left another business, didn't I? And, and no one knew where I went. People were going, where has he gone? Where has he gone? And I couldn't because there was a little bit of a conflict of interest at the time. Um, oh, we get nine minutes. Oh, crikey, it's going that so quickly already. And I was supposed to tell this quick story, but literally, I was quite early in You've my time, career. Jay. You've got time. Quite early. <laughs> I thought speak too quickly, people won't be able to pick it up. But it's quite early on in my career and and I got offered an opportunity uh, to go self-employed, which I did. And I did it for a whole year. And it was a big decision for me. I was quite young at the time, I was in my twenties, and I was quite young at the time, and I thought, do you know what the, the question I asked myself was would I regret it had I not given it a go? That was the question. And I and I, I back then I was not into personal development. I wasn't thinking about these, but there was a natural thing to say. If I didn't take this decision, would I regret it? And the answer would be yes. So I did the decision. It didn't work out. I did it for a year. It didn't work out. And I and I went back. And I went back to the, the original business because it didn't work out. What did I gain from that? One, I found out that it wasn't for me and it just didn't work out. And two, I had the experience of having that self-employment piece. And so it added to my skill set, I suppose, to be able to su- survive you know, out there in the big world of, you know, all like, almost like a little bit of an entrepreneur. But the things with this, this opportunity wasn't quite entrepreneurship. I was with potentially another business. I was like working, for them. it was almost not, not working for them, but they were like, you know, they could, they could control the level of work that I'd received. So it was a little bit, I felt a little bit trapped. It wasn't like total freedom. But again, I suppose, you know, as, as we go along, we do have that. We still have to ask to people anyway, no matter what we do. But yeah, that was the thing. But I tried it. Had I not done it, I definitely would have looked back and gone, you know, I wish I should have done that. I should have done that. But I can look back and go, no, I didn't. But there are, and I said last week, and if people listen to the podcast, I said, there's decisions I have regret, uh, I have regret that I didn't do, you know, like back in the day, like become that musician. Um, so, you know, but when I look back, serendipity, when you look back, you know, had I done that and had I, had I done that, I may not be here. We may not be talking right now. So, you know, all these things lead to down a path. So yeah, I, yeah, I love them. Um, I love the the power of I love the power of personal decisions, you know the whole you know Lee we talk about you know we talk about circles of control or circles of influence and that we have to make that decision, and then you know there are certain things we can't control, i.e., but we have to take responsibility. And I think that for me, if I'm going to give take my takeaway from me, and I, and, I, and I know it intrinsically anyway, that we have to accept, you know, the the consequences of those decisions, and we cannot. Well, That's people people do part. blame, right? Sorry, Lee? I was going to say that's the key part in all of this is yeah. accepting those consequences. So the key was don't blame anybody else because as soon as you blame other people, what you're doing is you're giving your power away to change because if you blame another person, and I've said this before, I'm sure I've said it, then what you're doing or you're blaming another thing or a situation is you're taking your power away to change things because if you blame outside your circle of influence, then you, you're leaving yourself powerless to do it because you're saying, well, it's out there, then I can't do anything. You need to know, what is that? What has happened? And what can I now do? And I accept that I made decisions. So now how can I now move forward to rectify or, or damage limitation or whatever it is so I can take responsibility and move forward to where, I, you know, to, to rebuild perhaps or, you know, get to where I want to be. So, yeah, that's my takeaway, actually. Uh-huh.